Okay, good afternoon. So going into a, um, obviously it's going to be windy, snowy, cold, all that good stuff. Not only that, but we have our work cut out for us. The Buffalo Bills are outstanding on special teams. They've played well all year. They've got two of the better gunners in the league in 33 and 25. Um, they've got an excellent punt returner they traded for a few weeks ago, and, and Hines came from Indy. He's done a nice job for them already. Uh, they put Duke back there on kickoff return the other day, did some good things. He had a nice 43-yard return. He's got great vision, runs hard. Um, I think I worked with him at one training camp uh, in 2019. We were trying to make him a kickoff returner because he's got that ability. Uh, Tyler Bass is kicking the ball well for him, and, and Sam Martin's done a nice job uh, coming from Denver uh, to be their punter. So uh, very good team, very well coached. They play hard. i um, excited about the opportunity. Don't know, obviously, about the weather or the venue or anything like that. Uh, no updates for us. And I, I guarantee I'll be the last one to know. But, um, but we, are, we are preparing for the cold, the wind, the snow. Uh, showed our guys some tape yesterday on some old snow games, either in uh, Buffalo or Baltimore, or games that I've been a part of uh, when I was with the Vikings. Um, so just talking about different stuff. Obviously, we can't experience it. We're not. It's not really snowing hard enough outside, but we can talk about certain situation and how we would react and the things that you know, kind of a game checklist that we'll go through, pregame checklist we'll go through to be prepared for that game. What can you do to get? Cade ready to kick in adverse conditions? Yeah, you know, we've had plenty of wind here. Um, yesterday it was uh, cold. He kicked out in the cold tomorrow. He'll kick again. Uh, I'm sure it'll be cold. Um, the wind, you know, he's dealt with before. We've talked about, you know, he doesn't kick a lot on turf because obviously we play most of our games on grass. Um, so we'll get him some turf work inside, but obviously it's not as effective because it's going to be wet and cold and snowy turf. Uh, that we're playing on. I think pregame for Cade will be big. Uh, we've talked about the shoes, the plant foot, those sorts of things that we always talk about with the specialist. Does Corey have any specific insight on that stadium? He does. He's done a nice job. Um, you know, we've talked about it all week, you know, starting on Monday. And, um, you know, we t he talked about where the winds come from out of one tunnel going through the other tunnel where he where he liked to kick the, uh, the ball when it was windy. You know, talking to Kate about the certain nuances of the of the wind in that stadium. So it was it's been very beneficial having having Corey's experience there. We get to start off that game with a nice big special teams play. In oh, Miami, that was great. You know, that's complimentary football at its at its finest. You know, we had the big return. We score what four plays later, kick the extra point, kick off. We down them at the 16 yard line, and you know that's we need to do more of that. Um, whether it's to start the first half, second half, any time during the game. So. You know, we preach complimentary football all the time, and that worked out really well for us to, be, to start the game last week. You got such a great return from Jerome coming back all, off the of IR there, and mm -hmm. obviously Miami decided that they just weren't going to kick to him the rest of the afternoon. They did. They, they actually kicked to him uh, one more, two more times. He returned it. The one uh, towards the end of the first half, uh, we didn't block it up well enough, and then the, the last one he took out from about four deep was probably about two deep, but we were trying to be aggressive, trying to get a spark for our offense. Go ahead. For him to come in and, and that be the first play back after that long, just how encouraging is that to you know maybe that maybe he can provide a, a spark in the return game? I, I well, we've thought that from the beginning since we drafted him, knowing that he did not have the experience in college because he was such a, a obviously a great running back in college, they didn't use him in that in that spot. Um, but you know we're going to use the best athletes in the best spots that we can, and, and Jerome is a has really embraced that role and you know he's made some mistakes early in the year uh, in terms of decision making but he's improved there a lot we talk about it all the time he comes up to my office we work extra you know, two three times a week to to make sure he understands the you know the different types of kicks different types of returns different types of situations that that these guys are put in and the more he does it the better he'll get you just mentioned he doesn't have the experience from college so did you guys talk about him as a return early or is it more like hey we got to find a way to get the, this guy Probably both. You know, back in training camp, uh, Coach Stefanski and I spoke a lot about you know the whole roster. And when it came to Jerome, you know, we were both thinking, hey, could you be a kickoff returner for us? And you know, I, we both believe he can. Is that something that down the road, as he gets more comfortable returning for, kicks, that you guys for can Jerome? Help? Yeah. Uh, you know, maybe I don't know if he's got. You know, he's got good quickness. I don't know if he's got that quick twitch ability that you're looking for in a punt returner, but. We're going to go baby steps. We're going to go kick off returner first, and then kind of go from there. To a young kicker who probably hasn't done it in the snow very often. Mm -hmm. Besides the pregame, which will be huge, like, are there other things you stress with them? Maybe it's you know, shorter steps, or I mean, things you focus on when the weather's bad. I don't know if can, uh, shorter step, controlled steps. I think you have to be very under control. You don't want to really swing too hard. You don't want that plant foot to slip in terms of kickoffs and and field goals for that matter. 
Um, I think with him, it's got to be hit, hit a true ball. You know, the ball contact's got to be good. He's got to cut through that wind with that good end over end ball. He might have to play the wind a little bit more, um, but which we worked on yesterday and did a nice job for us. But um, you know, those are the sorts of things. And, and ultimately, you don't want to overthink a whole lot. Don't don't think too much, and because and, that'll end up, you know, paralyzing him. And because he's a really smart kid and, and he understands his craft so well that you don't want him to overthink those kicks. And just overall, from special teams wise, do you figure? There'll be more returns. Like it'll be more of an active game because maybe it's harder to kick the ball through the end zone. Uh, maybe, yeah, sure. They well, they've challenged teams all year. I mean, they they've covered twenty six kickoffs this year, so they're not they're not a touch or they're not worried about anybody. They're they they cover very well, and Bass has done a good job of kicking off for them. So we expected to get returns anyway because they challenged teams. We were preparing for this cold snow and wind, and the game could be played in Ford Field, <laughs> where Dave York hasn't kicked in a zone for you yet. Uh, no, but I mean, that's, those are ideal conditions for a kicker or punter. You know what I mean? I don't, that, that'd just be like kicking down in Texas for him with no wind. A bunch of different cleats and stuff this week to see what he likes or doesn't like just as far as he so he can kick. Yeah, yeah, I think he'll take some different cleats with him to try them out in pregame and see how they feel, especially on the turf. What, yep. what do you need to uh, a good pregame if, if you're in those, uh, you know, wintry conditions and then do you take a longer time for pregame? Like, do you build in more time in your schedule? We would, um, just in case. You know, we want to take our time. We want to make sure that you know he's got. He feels very comfortable, both he and Corey and and Charlie, for that matter, our returners. You know, that they feel confident in what our game plan is, uh, depending on which way the winds are going. If, you know, we got crosswind, you got headwind, you got tailwind, you got snow, whatever. So I think the few extra minutes would definitely help. With Cade, but have you been able to see through these couple days that he's been able to kick in this really cold weather, some kind of growth in the way that he's handling approaching that? Yeah, the the uh, yesterday, um, I think he took a big step forward in terms of how to kick that true ball every time because you don't want to kick a, a, a fade ball or a draw ball or, or uh, a different. You don't want a different swing every time. I think you want to you know believe in the process, believe in your your ball strike, and believe in your follow through, and then. Play the wind a little bit that way. So that, that's a good question because that's exactly what he did yesterday. Mike, there's always been a dome, no dome debate here in Cleveland. Mm -hmm. I'm just curious. You've always co you've coached in mostly cold weather, right? You started in Jacksonville. I'm a cold I weather so. coach. That's what my wife keeps. Uh, she keeps yelling at me about it. Yeah. When the, the elements are involved? It doesn't bother me. Yeah, I mean, I just throw on the whatever's in my locker, and I'm, I stay warm. But um, I think it's a challenge. You know, Buffalo plays in cold weather all the time. We play, play in cold weather a lot, too. I think it'll be fun. I think it's an advantage when you play teams that come from the south or come from dome, dome stadiums that when you come into a cold, windy situation, that's where we have the advantage, in my opinion. This week, I think neither team would have the advantage, I wouldn't think.